Lyo Convoy here. Sorry if the audio quality isn't the best, I'm currently out of town for work and staying in a hotel. I felt I need to get this video out early as possible either way though. I'll preface this with a bit of my own personal experience. As many of you know, I started getting heavy into Transformers in the late 90s. This is also when I started getting online. This led me to eventually finding out about a Transformers only convention that had been running since 1994. I became enamored with the idea of going to this convention, BotCon. The time around fellow fans, the expanded fiction, visiting different states since it changed location every year, being able to see things in person I never had before. BotCon was my mecca as a teen. Then I became an adult, got out on my own, and somehow never once thought, hey, I can go to one of these now until 2012. I don't know why, but these things just never really hit me early. It's why I haven't been on YouTube all that long either. I just never thought to be. And for the following four years after that, I went to BotCon. In 2012, it was in my state. I met lots of good people that I had only known online for over a decade, and other things that made that weekend memorable that I'll get into at another time. However, BotCon 2016 came. And it was the final BotCon. I don't know the specifics, but I know that Hasbro didn't want to renew with Fun Publications, the license holder for the BotCon name. Yeah, I didn't mention that, did I? BotCon was backed officially by Hasbro. You have no idea how rare that is for a fan convention. Anyways, BotCon officially ended in 2016. That, and along with other things going on in my life, was a massive gut punch to me. And while I went to TFCon in the following years, it just wasn't the same. Last week, though, the AllSpark, my online forum, home since 1999, announced that BotCon will be coming back in the summer of next year, further announcing that the AllSpark will be partnering to host their official Discord server. You have no idea how excited I was, especially since this is going to be headed by Carl Hartman, one of the brothers that ran previous BotCons, the BotCons I had always wanted to go to. But then, issues were raised. Let me introduce you to Pete Sinclair. He previously worked at other BotCons as a member of Fun Publications. And Fub and Pub wasn't perfect. Between the breach of credit card info and the ways I've heard he and his crew reacted to certain things and stuff I witnessed myself, Fun Pub wasn't the best. But there's more to that. Pete is pretty right-wing. And while others have accused him of being a racist, I'm not sure I agree. A moronic bigot? Maybe. But I find his bad takes on issues minorities face to be rooted more in ignorance than malice. But that's just my take. To be clear, I do not like Pete. We've interacted on Facebook, and I find the man to be arrogant and insufferable. But others view him more harshly. Granted, I don't doubt their personal experiences. This is just a difference in opinion of intensity. Anyways, Pete is apparently running the storefront for BotCon. And for many people, they don't want him involved. At all. Due to how he's acted in the past, the credit card issues, or the asinine things he's liked on the official BotCon Twitter account, I can't say I'd cry if he left. A lot to take in, sure, but it's important. When word broke about Pete's involvement on the AllSpark, things got ugly. Politics got brought up, so someone tried to send half the thread to a forum not open to the general public, and the forum owner was at work for 10 hours and not able to catch up on everything while it happened. A perfect storm of bad timing and rash decisions. This led to some AllSpark moderators resigning, and many asking for Pete to leave his position, not wanting to give him any of their money. All the threads mentioned will be in the description below, just so you all know if you want to go looking yourself. In response to this, Pete put forward a statement to address these things, claiming he's never meant any ill will, and is trying to be a better person, yada yada yada. TLDR, he was basically saying, I'm not going anywhere. While I won't deny a man the right to change, you have to actively show that you're repentant. That's just my value, though. People were skeptical of this, or outright dismissing it, and I don't blame them. Now, I want to go ahead and address what I'm thinking here. Firstly, I'm probably missing something here, so just be aware. But how is Pete's involvement the AllSparks' fault? They're just hosting the Discord. And trust me, I get the desire to not want to support garbage people at a con. It's why I don't go to Anime Matsuri. It's because it's owned by a sexual predator. You cannot support Anime Matsuri without supporting John Lay. But this isn't quite the same with BotCon. Again, if I'm missing something, let me know, but Pete's just running a storefront. So far, we don't know if he's further involved with the convention. On top of that, though, this man was voicing his nonsense the same time BotCon was running previously. So why is it an issue now? I'm not trying to be catty. 
I'm trying to figure this out. If you want to explain this to me, I'd really appreciate it. If you don't want to attend BotCon, that's your choice. If that's your value, more power to you. Good on you for sticking to your values, and I do mean that. Just don't try to shame other people as they go. I'm not saying I've seen that. This is just a general thing. Unlike John Lay, we have no info saying Pete owns this con. Me personally, I'm going to go. Do I think Pete should be involved? No. Heck no. I personally think that if Pete values BotCon and the community, he'll step down. But he won't. That's just not who he is. But I would like to hear everyone's comments below. You're welcome to voice your political issues here as well if you wish. I usually don't care to talk politics, but this issue really can't be separated on this specific topic. Just please be civil. I look forward to BotCon. I do hope that it continues. And frankly, I'd love to kind of shell for myself here, but I'd love to write some of the stories they do for their expanded fiction. That would be a lot of fun. But those are just my thoughts so far. This is Lyle Convoy. Take care.